Right, Olympics TT today. Now, this is going to be a wild tech video. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't add up and it kind of carnage. But anyway, we're going to start with Ganon. Now, first thing first, he's on the new Pinarello Belide forks is the main thing that's kind of different. And also, you've got this 3D printed kind of scales thing that you've seen before on the hour record bike. Otherwise, he's in standard uh, Italy Castelli kit. He's got his uh, cask helmet with the little visors where my mouse is just under there, try and trip the air. Otherwise, the extensions, it looks like he's got a bigger bike maybe, or it's just his new position, but like it doesn't look as carnage as before where he used to have wild stuff. Um, we're also gonna try and get a picture of Tarling from the front as well, because you can see there's interest some interesting stuff going on there. Uh, in terms of his driving, his drive chain, he's on, I think a 68, maybe bigger, something stupid. Uh, and then obviously one by, looks like a Dejurit chain ring. He's on watch shop cranks, 165 mil. A lot of this stuff is taken from Cycling Spy on Instagram, so check them out, because uh, some of this is obviously my own, but other stuff I've just like found from what they were printing, uh, reporting not on a uh, Shimano Power Meter either, I believe SRM, but not 100% sure, but it look, looks like one. Obviously printing carbon works, but that's pretty standard. Now we're going to go into Binny. Now this is like the Olympics, because obviously he's got Verge to make the kit. Maybe I'm not exactly sure who makes this kit. But all you can see is like, he's obviously got an aero base there underneath, but there's a lot of things where it's like zip down the front. It's just not like a mega, mega setup. Or if you look at like more developed cycling nations who are going to spend more money on it, uh, then you've got like Belgium here with Remco. He's obviously got the short arms. You'll see like there's a picture in the back where it's only really textured on the top. There's obviously a lot of stuff going on, uh, especially with kind of like how the ribs go on the arms. Some people had it, some people didn't. The people who didn't have it, you felt kind of sorry for. Otherwise, actually, his setup isn't too bananas. We're going to go see a picture of him in a minute. You can see no aero coach front rim. I know he didn't use that in the in the uh, Tour de France, but I thought he would because he has generally used it. Um, standard uh, bars as well that he always uses. Otherwise, pretty standard setup for Remco. Nothing too wild. Um, then we go over to Tarling. Now, Tarling's position, again, uh, has changed a bit over the years, but it looks pretty similar to before. Uh, again, he's using the cask helmet, GB colored as well. Um, I think GB must do some testing because we're going to get into Anna Henderson, but she used a different helmet. Uh, the kit looks interesting. There's like some weird slick stuff on the back that doesn't look normal. There are some textures here, but not maybe as much as you think. Full length sleeve uh, overshoes. Obviously, it's made by Adidas, but it's not made by Adidas. I don't actually know who, who does make it. It's always with these things hard to kind of figure out. Huge chain ring, general in your setup. So I think he would have for sure been close to the win without the mechanical you can see here like this kind of weird thing i don't know if it's really vented for the track and they also use it for the tt or what but anyway that's kind of like what they come up with here anna henderson this is what i was saying is she's like got the helmet uh this is a specialized helmet obviously she rides for Savello. they have a really deep front section reserve wheel which look good as well otherwise standard kind of business setup but yeah, interesting to see that she's not wearing, using the standard Bisma laser helmet, especially as GB is sponsored by laser as well. So you think that's like more normal. I guess it's sponsored by uh, Giro, sorry, now Bisma. So anyway, she's not wearing the alien spaceship. So clearly not the fastest helmet at all times. She got second. So clearly, clearly it works. Then we've got Grace Brown, who actually was just full bananas. I haven't seen a performance like this in a while. Uh, she just punted everyone by like a minute and a half. And she's got some really interesting stuff. So she's using like a mech drone i'm pretty sure or a new matt helmet uh which again not her standard sponsors but i think with fdj they're often pretty relaxed on the whole helmet situation she's using lapierre she's using a, um, a revolver troika disc which again is pretty standard looks like one by i'm pretty sure she's going to be on this in sync uh or sorry the australian brand who make this and yeah you can see the the, the extensions here will look really really weird they like plant and uh they sorry they bolt on standard but then they kind of have this a uh, bit in the middle where it's like a, almost a uni riser. It's not quite, but it's getting close to that point And that's like something quite interesting. Obviously, that's in front of the legs as well. So maybe that's the reason why in terms of the extensions, they look pretty similar to a lot of people. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wild setup. She went really, really quick. So interesting to see. Again, people reckon this is a Vortex skin suit. Hard to know exactly. Uh, I don't know who makes the kit for all the rest of the Aussie things, but they're definitely not making cycling kits. So could be a good chance as Vortec. People can go bananas at the Olympics. Disc wheel, again, hard to say exactly what it is, um, to be honest. But yeah, really good setup from her. Then we go to the legend, the king himself. Wow, the double disc. Now, this is fully iconic. I'm actually so behind it. Double disc is just the coolest thing ever. It obviously worked for him because he didn't stack it 
on pretty technical corners and you know the whole wind situation clearly not an issue because it's built up area and I don't think it was that windy either he went quick as well SRAM one by standard massive chain ring uh, but yeah like double disc will it will it come back into fashion I think it might I think if you're a big unit and you reckon you can hold yourself up because obviously the smaller you are the more the more carnage it's going to be then I actually think it is a really good option so it's exciting to see what Wout's going to be doing uh, will he be running that? Will Jonas be running that? I, I, don't, I don't think so. But, you know, if it is a pan flat course, I, the double disc is just so cool. Anyway, this is some training stuff, which I didn't make a video about. So number one, this position is just full bananas uh, from Audrey Cordon Rego. I literally just couldn't really understand. But something here, which is an error sensor, isn't a training ride. So an error sensor, I'm not exactly sure why that's why, why I should use that. But maybe it's just on there from training. Uh, you know, trying to tell the conditions, stuff like that. What I did think was interesting is both GB riders had a GoPro on. And I think this is a big brain move because what you do is you film the course and then you can watch it back. It's really hard to get footage because obviously the it's in Paris, it's carnage. You, they're probably going the wrong way down streets, etc., etc. Uh, so yeah, having this footage is probably so good and you can just like recon it or just know exactly where the corner's coming up. You watch it like five times or something at like, at like two times speed i mean i think it's a really clever idea so yeah that's like ineos is wow well, ineos slash gb maybe i don't know exactly who know who is behind all of this uh but yeah that's a really smart move so i thought that was pretty interesting but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoyed this video hope to crack out some more videos on the olympics uh and get out of my retirement because it's been a long time since i cracked out a video so anyway, cheers for watching hope you enjoy i'll see you in the next one